So by still connection user, uh, in this tutorial, I I'm going to show you uh, how to design the uh, three, three critical uh, connection in in our program. Okay, the boat uh, the boat shear capacity check. There are two type of check. One is uh, bearing. Okay, one is bearing check, and uh, one is three critical. So in the uh, when uh, some application they require a slot hold, slotted hold, and uh, they need a three critical check. And some application like uh, the connection uh, subject to cyclic load, uh, vibration load, uh, the engineer also specify a three critical uh, connection. So. For all the uh, moment brace shear connection, there's a bolt setup button here. Okay, you specify the bolt type of bolt, diameter of bolt, and three critical is uh, is uh, config here too. Uh, you click on edit. Okay, um, there's a link. These are for you to choose a uh, type of bolt. Okay, A three two five A four nine zero. Thread include, thread exclude, that's diameter, right? So there's last pull down is three critical. If you hit yes here, okay, it will show you the uh, surface condition class AB and the uh, uh, type of bolt hold, okay? There are two join, there are two parts joined together and the specified type of bolt hold uh, in these uh, pull down. Okay, so that's the bolt setup. If you don't need three critical or you don't want to check three critical, okay, if you hit yes, okay, hit yes and hit okay, so it will show the SC equals to yes here. So for the checking, shear connection check, besides the, uh, okay, besides the, okay, besides the, uh, Bolt bearing check, bolt shear. Okay, so basically, uh, that's the bolt bearing check, and uh, after that, bolt bearing check. There's a three critical check. Okay, and uh, normally the uh, bolt shear capacity three critical is less than the bearing. All right, so that's why it fails here. It, it pass here. So. If you uh, let's uh, check for three, three critical. If you choose uh, three critical as C equals to no, and that check will disappear. All right, so you will only check bearing. So uh, go to here, and the if you choose no, okay, so that three three critical check will disappear if you. And this one will tend to know, okay? So that's for you to set up the uh, box so critical. So I have tutorial here, right? I have tutorial here, okay? Go to online menu, okay? So the uh, three critical, okay? So first one, this uh, tutorial on uh, online menu on three critical in this program, all right? So that I already show you, I will demo, demo you how to set up a uh, three critical, yes, all right. And uh, the type of uh, bow hold, uh, that's from AIC manual, all right. The standard oversize uh, short slot, low transverse, short slot, low parallel, okay, long slot, same thing. And uh, the, I will just explain to you, okay. And when you're going to initiate three critical, yes, all right. So as I say, uh, for connection engineer, but if you are a structure engineer and connection engineer too, you know what's going on. But uh, many times, uh, structure engineer they just pass the connection to connection engineer, and connection engineer is in dark and no idea why structure engineer specifies three critical here. So that's some trick here for connection engineer who is a 
detached from structure uh, origin original uh, structure engineer uh, the connection and they know if they want to specify three critical or not okay so basically uh, there are a couple reasons for a structure engineer to specify three critical uh, connection uh, the most common one uh, is uh, uh, for the application the location like uh, steel clamping okay when they clamp there's moving load crane load moving uh, every day so there's a cyclic load uh, in both American and Canadian code uh, for the uh, steel structure carry crane crane cyclic load they specify the all the main frame the building frame connection should be three critical okay to uh, to prevent the uh, the uh, cyclic uh, low causing uh, fatigue, right? Dynamic low, cyclic low, the main frame, building frame structure connection should be three, three critical. In that case, uh, for that reason, all the main frame, not the secondary, not the tertiary, like uh, we have a uh, main building steel frame connection, brace connection, that should be three critical. But for a secondary like handrail or uh, stair, these are secondary, you, you don't need three critical for loads, okay? That's too much. So for main frame, brace, moment, uh, main connection should be three critical. In that case, the connection engineer should specify three critical, okay? And uh, for all the connection, you should go to uh, this dialog box and set three critical to be yes, all right? And that's a code requirement, okay? And specify uh, specify the uh, connection, uh, the plate surface, A and B, specify the bolt hole, all right? Uh, it can be uh, standard. Okay, I mean, it, it doesn't mean that uh, standard hole cannot take uh, cannot be designed as a three critical. You can pick standard hole, but it's three critical. Okay, because uh, slotted holes normally is because of expansion. You want to move or structure construction tolerance. Like uh, you, you still tie to the concrete. You, you have, the concrete has a big tolerance and. Uh, you uh, don't you want to uh, match match make up those tolerance? You have large slotted hole, but for application like uh, uh, dynamic cyclic load environment, you use a standard hole for three critical. All right, so it specify you hit yes, specify the surface area, a uh, surface class, choose standard hole. Uh, Okay, on okay, then SC equals to yes. Okay, so for applications like uh, for application like uh, dynamic low, cyclic low, crane runway beams, uh, the building, industrial building with crane running back and forth, or with uh, dynamic uh, vibration equipment. In that scenarios, the structure engineer specify based on the code requirement, they specify all the mainframe steel connection to be three critical in that case you hit connection engineer if that's the call reason to be three critical connection engineer just hit yes okay and choose standard hold all right so for another application okay uh they specify three critical requirement is because construction tolerance okay so like this scenario, and uh, because the uh, steel uh, hanger, they mount to the concrete surface, but the, uh, despite the grouting, the steel can now, uh, it, it's unlike a steel to steel joint. It can, can be very accurate, okay? And uh, the, the enlarged uh, bow hole just uh, one sixteen inch, okay? If you connect the uh, steel 
to the concrete, the construction tolerance might be larger. So for that reason, uh, they specify the slot hole to account to absorb the, the up and down of a concrete surface. They use a slot hole to avoid uh, uh, site uh, erection issue. They specify a slot hole. In these scenarios, the load, okay, is parallel with the slot hole, okay. So, in these applications, the connection design must be three critical. They are not relying on the bearing because the, the, the load is in parallel to the uh, bolt hole. They are not rely, rely on uh, bearing, bolt to steel plate bearing. They rely on the friction resistance. So in this scenario, you must specify three critical and the, the bolt hole is one and one steel plate is standard, the other steel plate is either short slot LP or long slot LP, okay? Long slot LP, that's called the low is parallel to the bolt ho slot hole. The other scenario is like this. Uh, normally, you have two structures, you have a uh, walkway connected two structure. one is taller, one is uh, uh, shorter. The diffractions, the connecting point, the diffraction between these two structures are quite different, okay? And uh, if you use standard hole, it might uh, tie these two pull these two structures together. Uh, when the wind blows, they, they might break out. So, to account for the uh, to accommodate the differential horizontal drift or diffraction to account for the differential the big differential horizontal diffraction you might specify the slot hold on one end and stand the hole on the other end to accommodate the difference of horizontal diffraction in that case okay the uh, horizontal, the the the, the bow hole, the slotted hole is lay horizontally, and actually the uh, the design is to allow it to move. Okay, it's not like uh, you, you uh, pretension the bow to create the uh, friction resistance. It's not the case. Actually, slot hole is for free movement of the boat, okay, to, to accommodate the differential movement of these two pieces. So, since you are not uh, designed to create uh, friction resistance, there's no point for you to design a three critical for this scenario, okay? So, normally it's LS, LT, the, the low of concern like this is vertical shear, the horizontal, they just release it, okay? There's no load. The lower concern is uh, normal or transverse to the direction of uh, slotted hole. We call it as LSLT or SLST, uh, SSLT, okay? Or LSLT. So in that case, you don't need to design slick critical. Even the details show the slot hole, you just design as a normal shear connection, normal standard hole, okay? So, for connection engineer, you, uh, I, I address these uh, three scenarios, okay? And uh, one is a uh, cyclic dynamic vibrating uh, environment, steel frame, you need three critical for shear. One is this low is in parallel with uh, uh, slotted bolt hole, you need three critical for sure. But in this case, the last scenario, the load is in transverse to the slotted hole. It's a uh, slot hole designed to accommodate different deflections between two connecting parts. You don't need to design as three critical, even though the detail show the slot hole. All right, so. Uh, connection engineer, you have to judge based on this principle. So, uh, I explained that one. All right. 
So the code provisions, once you choose uh, oversize, uh, short slot, long slot, or whatever, and uh, the code, you, you initiate, you generate the additional check on top of uh, bulk bearing shear check. There's a three critical check. And the difference between different uh, bow hole code AIC code provision is here. Okay, the five value or omega value is different for different bow hole. So I show you that. So these are uh, the next is some frequent asked question. Okay, uh, so when you select first, when you select th uh, three critical, consider three critical yes and no. When you select yes. No matter what bolt hole you choose, you will go for additional three critical check on top of bearing check. Okay, that's the first thing. So uh, this one I would explain to you. Okay, uh, this one you should consider three critical. This one you should not uh, because, like the description here, normally they want to accommodate, uh, um, allow this to freely move. Uh, uh, horizontally they they don't want to tighten the nuts they just uh, finger tight and the back of one quarter terms allow it to free move horizontally so the lower concern is vertical so in this case okay uh, you just design as a standard hole non three critical connection shear connection okay and the last one is the bow hole size for slot hole they are short slot and long slot, okay, for different diameters, standard hole, oversize, the bolt hole size. Uh, our program uh, design based on that, that's from AISC design, steel design manual, table J3.3. This is just for your detailing reference, all right, it's not. And our design, the bolt hole size, we, we follow this, like, Standard hole, oversized hole, short slot hole. We follow that, but also for your detailing uh, reference use. So that ends our conclusion. Uh, ends our tutorial on three critical design in this program and the slotted hole. I explained uh, pretty much all of that. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.